Okay, here we are on April 26th, and uh, we keep constructing. We just we're finishing up doing the uh, the approximately four foot uh, three quarter inch uh, return line that goes from the from the dish, the large dish, down to the ground, connecting with the um, one and a quarter and one inch lines to return all of the water that's not utilized back to the tanks. And um, here, the plants are just growing. Look at these plants. Look at these plants. They are just growing. You know, originally I could stand here and I could see the last tower plain and simple without any problem. Okay, now the plants are starting to grow where they're hiding the tower. You can't see them as clear as before. Cuidado que se los pica ahí. Sí, sí, ahí en la cocina está. Siga adelante. Okay, so, so yeah, I mean, look at these plants. Look at this one right here in front. I mean, these things are just growing. And like I mentioned in a previous video, when we did the transplant, I was absolutely in awe. And how many, the, the, the root system, I mean, we're talking not hundreds, but thousands of roots in, in these plants. Had just, they're just growing like weeds, so to speak. They're just growing fast. And, and, and you see the plants and you look at the trunk, the actual vines are nice and thick and they're strong. I mean, I mean this thing in, 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 in the middle of May, this, this baby, if I continue to get sunlight every single day, because water with nutrients they got, so if I continue to get the sunlight every single day, these plants are going to take off because I notice a difference when we have the cloudy days, which we're coming out of winter, which what it means is that it rains more and it's cloudy more. Okay, but now we're coming. We're just coming out of that, and now it's going to be sunny. Like today's fine. It's getting, they're getting sunlight, and uh, but when they get the solid sunlight, and they naturally have the water and the nutrients, so it doesn't make any. You can give them as much sun as they want. They will just soak it up and will just grow like crazy, and so it's super exciting to just see what's happening here, and and actually, within a within a month and a half, we'll have. Well, in the next, uh, I'm going to say two and a half weeks, the entire system of the new 222 tower system that will be producing uh, around 2,200, 2,500 pounds of tomatoes a week, and that'll be all set up and going, and uh, and so it's going to be it's going to be absolutely wonderful, absolutely wonderful, and and then afterwards uh, from that area where the 222 project ends to the end here. Yes, so I'm going to start, in other words, to right here, in line with here, I'm going to start working on that piece of land, and that holds approximately 300 towers. And so between these three, we'll have in, in the area of about 750 towers that will be producing 7,500 pounds, or in other words, we'll be producing monthly 30,000 pounds of tomatoes, just, just right here. You can't do that in a normal tomato growing. Can't be done. Okay, and I mean, and um, over here, I'm going to show you where we have the um, the the house that we build, like a, a huge shed. Right beside that, going down, we're going to build a a building made of wood, etc. It won't have any sides. It'll just have the roof and tables, whereby all the tomatoes that are gathered will be processed there, weighed and all that, and then we'll have the truck, the truck will go right there, and we'll build a little bridge because water is like a little stream there, we'll build a little bridge, and uh, we'll be able to take the tomatoes right into the truck and down to market. And that market's only going to be one store, so it's going to be absolutely fantastic, absolutely fantastic. So this is, I mean, these tomatoes are just, wow. Well, people that know tomatoes and all that, that come up here, they're, they're just in awe as to how this thing is growing and how beautiful the plants are looking.